first painting in our gallery is of a rhino in the Kifaru Nature Park in Kenya. It's from a series of paintings being sold to raise money for the Kifaru Foundation to support the park. By analysing his weight data over the last several years, we can gain valuable insights into learning about rounding decimals. We need to round up his weight records to one decimal place. To do this, we look at the last digit that we want to keep and examine the number after it. If this number is five or greater, we round that digit up, adding one to the number in the decimal place we are rounding to. And this number is called a decider because it helps decide if we need to round up or down. Here our decider is five, so we round up, giving us 3,521.1 kilos. In our second example, our decider is four. This is less than five, so we round down, leaving our resulting weight as 3,511.5 kilos. In our third example, we have seven as our decider. Again, this is greater than five, so we round up. And I've left our last example for you to try. These paintings were created in 2013 by Marisol Rivera. They were sold at auction in dollars and their prices converted directly to pounds were as follows. We need to round these to proper values for currency and so to two decimal places. Because we're rounding to two decimal places, our decider is now in the third decimal place. In our first example, this is two. Two is less than five, so we round down again, giving us 175,352 pounds and 91 pence. In our second example, we have a five. We know that this means we round up, giving us 79,726 pounds and 13 pence. Finally, our third painting's value sees a seven in our decider position, so we round up. What's important with this example is we're rounding up from nine. This then becomes 10, and then we have to add that one to the column to the left, making 29 become 30. This is a painting of the SS Whitecap, and we're going to use data from its maiden voyage for our final example on the topic of rounding to decimals. Starting with the distance sailed, to round this to four decimal places, we look at our decider in the next position, so the fifth position. This is a nine, so we round up, making our eight become a nine. Rounding the average speed to three decimal places means we look at our decider in the fourth position, which is three, so we just round down. Finally, rounding the maximum wave height encountered to six decimal places. Our decider is in the seventh position. That is a four, which is less than five, so we round down. <laughs>